Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new video on the Jews and Jim YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we will be talking about the lovely citrine. Uh, so I'm going to show you how citrine looks like. We're going to talk about what does citrine stand for, what are the properties, the meaning associated behind this gemstone, uh, how you can use it, which zodiac signs it's associated with, the chakras and so much more. So by the end of this video, you'll be a citrine expert. Uh, before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And now let's get started. So citrine is a bit of a tricky one. It's a stone that um, obviously has been, especially lately, um, involved in a little bit of, uh, you know, tricky topics i'll show you so here this is what natural citrine looks like yes i'm using the word natural because this is the main uh, subtopic related to um the difficulty we're having nowadays with citrine is that there is indeed natural citrine but there's also what we have called fake citrine fake citrine is not plastic it's just a stone that's been uh, heated up uh, to look like some kind of citrine. Here we have genuine citrine. So this is what natural citrine will tend to look like. It's a very, very light shade of yellow. Uh, in case you're wondering, citrine is this color. Why? Because of the meaning behind the name. Actually, citrine comes from the French word citron, which means lemon in French. So hence this kind of uh, lemony color. And the issue is unfortunately citrine is one of these stones that has been, um, you know, there's been, I suppose, unfortunately people trying to copy it or make fake citrine because real genuine citrine is actually very expensive. It's very hard to find. You see pieces like this that, you, that are genuine natural citrine, you don't come across them very easily. And to be honest, usually they tend to be quite pricey because there's not a lot of genuine citrine left out in the world. Um, most of the sources would be, for example, from, uh, from Africa, for instance, and um, it's just hard to find. Whereas fake citrine is just heated up amethyst. It doesn't look yellow like this. It looks kind of brownish color, sometimes yellow but um, it looks like a cluster which is basically how amethyst forms but proper genuine citrine does not form in clusters but yeah you can see the here is another beautiful piece again these are all genuine um citrine but yeah citrine um as regards to the meanings and properties associated with it it's all about uh manifestation it's citrine is a magnet for creativity uh, imagination personal power personal will and it carries really the energy of the sun because we said it means lemon so uh, in French. So there's that energy connected to the sunshine, that beautiful yellow color, very warm, comforting, energizing, life-giving. This is what citrine is all about. It's also a stone that's great for just uh, well-being, life, happiness. Um, and obviously it's great as a money stone. It is known as a money stone, so all about wealth, prosperity, success, all things good and, uh, and positive really. And um, citrine also is known to be able to encourage, I suppose, also sharing that look, not just keeping it for ourselves, but that sense of being generous and um, spreading the, um, the good fortune in a sense. And um, great stone for uh, luck, yeah and finding to help you find your power here this one is a little bit brighter you can see it's very faceted beautiful piece uh face it's faceted at the bottom which means that when the sun hits or the light hits you can see it's like really shiny and sparkly gorgeous gorgeous and uh yeah it's a great stone to help you find your power uh, to uh, really unlock your natural talents and abilities to uh, develop your yourself 
and uh, become the best version of, our, of yourself really. Um, that to me is what citrine is more so known about. Uh, as regards to the fake citrine, I know a lot of people out there have some. It's a bit of a tricky one. I don't really want to um, tell you if it holds those similar properties. I'm talking here about genuine citrine. Um, it's, it's a difficult situation. Ideally, if you can get your hands on real, genuine, proper citrine, uh, you'll find also genuine citrines in crystal forms and tumble stones for sure. It doesn't have to be jewelry if it's something you do not want or can't get. Uh, but try because this is really the this is the real deal you know uh, it's it's for sure the best uh, apart from that well citrine is also um, you know all about being reminded of your inner power because it's a stone of happiness and abundance so there's that sense of um, you know you have the power within you to get what you want. And I think that's working with citrine is a wonderful reminder of that. Uh, as regards to ancient lore, well, citrine honors Persephone, which is the Greek goddess of spring. Uh, it's that sense of celebration and the uh, earth alive with that new growth. So citrine being really connected to that idea of abundance that comes when spring is on its way. And in ancient Greece, I believe citrine was also used as a decorative gemstone uh, during the Hellenistic age in particular. And in the 17th century, I believe there's been um, stories about Scottish uh, men that were basically uh, ornating the handles of daggers and swords and other weapons with these beautiful stones. Uh, so obviously you can see that it's gems that have been treasured uh, by mankind for a very long time. And more recently, citrine was also very popular in the Art Deco period, which I think is super cool. So yeah, go citrine. Love it. So yeah, as regards to the zodiac signs associated with citrine, um, I like to mention... Um, Aries, obviously, because Aries is very much so about that energy of being into action, getting things done. And citrine is great for Aries, whether you have sun, moon or rising in Aries, to really, um, you know, hold you uh, as you go towards uh, getting these, um, these projects going, but also giving you the power to continue to pursue them and not just drop it and move on to something else. Uh, Leo, obviously, Leo is that very passionate, fiery energy. It's that idea of being in the center of the spotlight, uh, of the center stage. And um, citrine is great for that good luck energy to harness the creativity and transform it into, um, into um, a result, success and manifestation. Uh, then I would also say definitely uh, Gemini because Gemini, again, is a sign that's very outgoing, curious, exchanging with others. Again, whether your sun, moon or rising is in Gemini, you're going to get um, a lot from citrine because there's that energy of, uh, you know, encouraging you to really go out of your way and um, allowing you to, um, you know, embrace, uh, I suppose, um, your inner power and really connect with that self and not just re rely on others but also remember that the power is also within you and be more confident that way too and last but not least cancer cancer whether it's sun moon or rising citrine is wonderful because i feel there's that sense that sometimes cancer um cancer can be very much into the inner world and connecting and working with a stone like citrine is here to remind you that uh, you're worthy and that you have beautiful magic to share with the world. So it's wonderful for you to come out of your shell and uh, exchange with the rest of the world to show what you have to offer. I love that for, 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 for them. So yeah, you can see that in terms of chakras, we have an energy here that's deeply connected to the solar plexus. There's, it's the uh, energetic center 
revolving around confidence, uh, self-worth, inner power, uh, personal will. And if these are areas where you're struggling lately at the moment, uh, seeing your work or allowing yourself to be seen and being authentic and shining bright, definitely citrine is a great gemstone for you. And I would say also maybe a little bit of the sacral chakra to, to a certain extent because there's that connection with creativity. Creativity being in the sacral center, it's um, being able to really um, connect with that inner passion and allowing it to be expressed through your creative process. So that will be that. And um, if you're working with citrine, uh, for example, through meditation, visualization or anything like that, the affirmation for citrine when you're um, you know, programming your gemstone, your crystal would be, I create the life that I want. I am filled with light and happiness. Citrine in a nutshell. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. Do you have some citrine? What do you think about citrine? Um, if you have any questions after this video that I haven't mentioned, let me know below. And uh, you know, I will be talking to you soon. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It was a pleasure to talk to you guys. See you soon.